first parent when I was like six or seven, like really young, because I had really thick hair. So I got my hair perm, and then I had it until my freshman year of college. And then I realized I'm a dancer, so I had my hair up all the time, so it started breaking. So I realized I was like, I can't do it no more. So I decided to cut all the perm ends off. But I didn't do a big chop, it was just like three or four inches. So you didn't do the big chop? So no, I grew it out for two years, I was scared. <laughs> I was a scaredy cat. I used to get perms all the time. Uh, my mom, she does hair, so I used to have way more hair than I do now. Uh, it used to be down to my butt, really. So when I got my first perm, <laughs> my hair would last a very long time, like just straight. Like if I would go to a party or something, like my hair would not get, you know, drawn up or anything like that. So my 11th grade year, that's when I decided, uh, decided not to get a perm or nothing like that. So I just did a big chop and I cut my hair into a bob and that was from there. And I just started seeing it grow. It started growing faster and my hair became thicker, it had more volume. And I was like, I didn't need a perm for my hair to look good when I could just wear it how I want to. I was like, maybe I want to see what mine would look like if I, you know, started from scratch. So that's, that was my reason why I went natural. And I actually grew to love it because in the beginning it was very unmanageable. So I just could like wear braids and wigs. But now that it's grown out to be big the way it is. I'm like, I mean, I have braids now. Right. <laughs> well, my mom is like from another generation. And my mom has really, really kinky hair. And so her mom didn't know how to do her hair and my mom didn't know how to do my hair. So literally to make stuff easier and to assimilate, I guess, they always used to perm my hair so it could be straighter and easier to manage. Um, but when I got older, I didn't want to do that anymore. I wanted to, you know, see what my natural hair looked like. So I, I waited a couple years, grew it out a little bit, went through a couple rough years, and then I cut it off. Then why do you think everybody want to wear their hair natural now anyway? It's like, why is it, is it all of a sudden now a thing? Um, it's just because of celebrities too, like, you know, influencers. But I feel like when people are cutting their hair off, it's because they no longer can do anything to, you know, with the perm look. It's not reasonable. Like, you paying for a perm every four weeks, and then it's not lasting, and you know, if you don't keep up with it, your hair starts breaking. So people start realizing that, and then they want to start using their natural hair. I think people are trying to relive history in a way because I know they say, like, they try to look at their ancestors. They think they, well, some people think it's cheaper. I wouldn't too much say it's cheaper because some products are kind of expensive. But I think they're just looking at how people are starting to love their self naturally. So I guess some people may have low self-esteem and they feel like they'll have more confidence if they, like, do more to their hair and become natural rather than trying to, like, keep up with perms and stuff. And then some people may be learning more about how perms are not good for your hair, and they may want to like try something new because I'm one of those people that will try something new. But I think it's more of a like monkey see, monkey do type thing. Everyone wants to be like the next person. That's their way of expressing themselves. I don't have to wear straight hair because you have straight hair, so let me, you know, wear my curly fro or natural um, twist, twist out. If I want to wear a twist out, I let me do that. But then also, you know, we live in a world which, where it's trends, you know, it was a trending thing. And I, like I said, for some, maybe they was falling in love with it. Because you have people who you ask them like, oh my gosh, your hair is so curly, so long. How long have you been natural? And they'd be like, I've never had a perm. I feel like it has to do something with self-love and more of it was a trend. And as humans, we conform to that trend of natural hair. So I know when I first went natural, I had to go through this, you know, what they call the, the ugly stage. And I did not want to that was me. go to school. I didn't want to be around nobody. I didn't want to wear my hair out because I didn't know how to style it. I felt ugly. Like, well, how was your transition phase? Like, how did you feel during that time? Well, um, in 2017, I got my last perm in March because it was around my birthday. And from March to December, I didn't have any more, any perms. And, um, I, I've never had like long, long hair. So I just was like, I'ma just transition. But it was taking too long, so I cut all the perm off in December. Now, I was so like, I had anxiety. I just couldn't do it. I was embarrassed. So I slapped some braids in like the minute, like this, like the second day I put some braids in my hair. 
So then I wore braids all of 2018, wigs, um, sew-ins, but it wasn't until the end of 2018 was when I was like, oh, this is even kind of big or this is kind of cute. And it's just, it had to grow on me. Being that I had already did every hairstyle, I was just like, I just need something new. So when I cut my hair, I was just like, yes, like this is me. Like this is what I want to do. I want to keep it in a bob. I'll do wash and goals every day. Like I felt good. It made me feel good. When I did the big chop, like in the process of getting it cut, I kind of regret it. Cause I was like, why, why did I cut my hair? Cause my hair was, you know, kind of long. But then I thought about it, like when it started growing and when I was like washing it more, I started liking it. Cause then it started growing onto me. Cause at first I, I didn't like it for real. I mean, I liked it, the, the cut, but then I started missing my hair. Like, why did I cut my hair? But after a while I saw, like, it just took some patience. It taught me patience. It taught me to love who I am more. Cause it's like your hair, like it's different now. So it kind of changed me and how I look at myself. I felt great. <laughs> like I was still, I thought I was, I really thought I was like that girl, but my mom and everybody else around me was like, girl, you look a hot mess. Like, what did you do? But I just thought I looked so cute. So I really like, I did not care. I was watching so many YouTube videos of so many natural hair, um, natural hair people. So like just seeing them and how they looked, I love the way they look and I knew I would love how I look. So it didn't really matter. Do you wish sometimes you had like another hair texture? Um, maybe when I was, when I was little, I wish my hair was bone straight. That's why I got the perm, because I wanted the bone straight look. But now, I don't care. Like, I want my hair. I did my hair every two weeks, so I want it curly one day, braids another day, straight, you know. So, hell no. <laughs> no. Like, no. I, no. Just no. <laughs> Sometimes, I wish my texture was like a little more curlier. Cause like it's parts of my hair is different. Like the back is like tight curls. The front it don't curl as much. I just wish all of it was like one texture. And like me, I mean, yeah, I've been natural for like three years, almost four years now. I'm still learning. I don't really know what, what to use on my hair. So I'm trying things. But as it grows, I get more appreciative of the hair. Like my hair grows out instead of down. So, I wish I had another texture because I want my hair to grow down. But for people like who have their hair that grows down, they can't wear the puff. And the puff is like my signature thing I like to wear. I love my hair sometimes when it comes out the way I want it, but I feel like my hair makes me. I think that it, like however I feel like styling it that day, I can do it straight if I want it. I can curl it, I can put it up in a ponytail. And my hair just makes me who I am. And I love my hair. I would never, ever cut my hair. Um, I want my locks to grow to my knees, possibly to my ankles. I do now. I mean, I can admit that I didn't like it in the beginning, but I didn't want to give up on something that quick because it was back in 2018. I really was like, I'm just going to stop a perm in it because it was so easy, you know, it was quick. You know, the products for natural hair, it's going to spend about $30 to get everything, the tangler brush, um, the comb, the, the spray, the oils, the creams, everything you need for your particular hair, that's a lot of money. Versus a perm is like $5. And then you go about your day. I love my hair. I love my hair just cause like, it took me so long to grow out my hair. My hair has gone through so many stages. Like, I just love being able to wake up and like wash my hair if I want to wash it, braid it if I want to braid it, you know, do a whole bunch of different styles. Like, I love it. And I feel like it just, when I do my hairstyles, they just look like me, you yeah. know?